The film starts off with a young man on stage, singing his heart out. The blaring crowd is cheering for his melodic voice as he looks up at the sky and sings a heartfelt song. A man from the crowd throws a can of soda at the young singer's face. Rahul Jaikar, the successful and young musician leaps downstage and attacks the man who attacked him. The man who attacked Rahul is also an artist known as Aryan, who lost his career because Rahul's flourished. A fight ensues and security pulls the two men apart. Rahul talks about leaving everything and going somewhere peaceful and his music manager berates him for not being competent enough. He tells Rahul that after performing all over the world, no one wants him anymore. Rahul drinks alcohol straight from the bottle while hearing that. Judging from his constant drinking, it can be concluded that he is an alcoholic. Rahul leaves in his car. He drinks and drives all the way, while remembering the first time he was seeked out by agencies and won his first award. He became the best singer in all of India and won several trophies. His popularity got to him though, he was not happy with his life at all. Suddenly he sees a girl crossing the road and steers to the side, crashing into the wall. He gets out and asks the fallen girl if she is okay, to which she snarkily points out him wearing sunglasses at night. Rahul made her drop the basket of tomatoes she was carrying and he helps her pick them up one by one. Rahul goes to a bar but finds it closed. The bartender directs him towards a bar that is a couple blocks away, but says the bar isn't deserving of him. At this Rahul laughs and walks there, while in the background a beautiful song is being sung by a girl. When Rahul arrives at the bar, he comes across the same girl who dropped the tomatoes, singing on stage. He is mesmerized by her voice and stares at her. She glares at him and continues singing. Her serenade makes the young man smile wide and mouth the lyrics along with her. Rahul walks up to her, she's about to lash out at him but as he takes his sunglasses off, she and her friends recognize him. She starts stuttering when she sees him, apologizing for not recognizing him before. He takes her to the side and compliments the girl and asks for her name. She tells him her name is Arohi, and right as he is talking to her, his manager arrives and starts dragging him away. Rahul asks for where she lives, takes his manager's car keys and leaves to where she is. He calls her from outside her home and she quiets him down, climbing over the fence and dragging him down by the car so no one sees them. She tells him the bar manager will cut her salary if she is seen outside. Rahul tells her that she wants to be a singer. Confused, she asks how he knows. Rahul saw her stare at a picture of a legendary singer Lada and knew right away she wanted to be a star. Arohi tells Rahul she already tried to become a singer but no one gave her a chance. Rahul replies by saying he'll help her become one. She gets the wrong idea and states that she's not that type of girl. He assures her he does not mean that and only wants to see her succeed because he sees a spark in her. Furthermore, Rahul tells her he has fallen in love. Hearing this, she smiles shyly. The next day, Arohi tells her boss she wants to leave work. He refuses and asks her to pay 25,000 rupees. She has an argument but the unserious manager hears none of it. Rahul shows up and gives him a lecture on how he should respect his singers. He pays the money owed by Arohi and leaves with her. They arrive at Mumbai together and part ways temporarily. Arohi arrives at her parents' house and hugs her father close. She hugs her mother, who then asks for 100 rupees from Arohi so she can go to the market for dinner ingredients. Arohi confesses that she didn't get any money from her previous job and that she is here because someone promised her a job. Hearing this, her mother is very disappointed and walks to the kitchen without a word. Arohi follows her but her mother starts crying and tells Arohi she worked really hard to educate her. Rahul tells his uncle, who is head of the agency. After some persuasion, he finally agrees and calls her over to the studio. On the way to pick up Arohi, some thugs gang up against Rahul and beat him up. This causes him to miss her call. Rahul's manager rushes him to the hospital. Arohi calls him again and this time, his manager picks up and lies about Rahul being in London. Arohi is very disappointed and looks towards her saddened mother. The following days, Arohi keeps trying his number but the strict manager lies about Rahul's number changing. Arohi's home condition is so bad that her mother has to sell the only necklace she has for money. Arohi arrives at Rahul's residence, but the gatekeeper lies about him not being in Mumbai, so she gives her number to the gatekeeper and asks him to give it to Rahul. While she is leaving, she sees him driving his car, laughing with his friend. Devastated and broke, Arohi runs to her friend's house and demands for a job, good or bad. When the gatekeeper notifies Rahul of Arohi's visit, he finds out that Vivek, his manager had been cutting her off from him. He rushes to a party held for him and punches Vivek in the face. Vivek argues that he did it for Rahul's benefit. But really if you think about it, he did it for selfish reasons. Vivek did not want Rahul to give his own success to some other girl. But Rahul says he does not want fame, money, respect, but Arohi does. 
and he wants to give it to her. Rahul calls Arohi and finds out she has been performing at some shady hotel for money. He takes his uncle along and they listen to her sing. When Arohi sees Rahul looking at her from a distance, she rushes out of the hotel. He stops her but she screams at him with anger. He gets in the car with her while the taxi driver drops her off. On the way there, he tells her of the accident he was in and how he was at the hospital for two months. Arohi tells him she cannot leave her job in hopes that he will help her again. He assures her she doesn't have to and calls her to his uncle's office tomorrow morning. Next morning, Rahul's uncle meets her and tells her he likes her voice, but she needs some grooming. Rahul promises to train her voice himself, and they get started. The next part of the movie is them practicing inside the studio. Outside, on rooftops. The song plays in the background as scenes of them singing and spending time together plays on screen. When Rahul gets a call from his dad, he tells him he's very happy. Rahul's dad asks him in a surprised voice if he is in love. Rahul looks towards Arohi laughing and playing and confirms it. Now that time has passed, it is time for Arohi to sing officially in the studio for the first time, but her nerves get the better of her. She is extremely nervous and self-conscious. Rahul softly tells her he is with her and she should trust herself more. He goes on to tell her he loves her, and that he has been waiting for this day to arrive. She looks into his eyes and meets him outside the door she was locked in. She finally sings in the microphone and surprises everyone in the studio with her beautiful voice. They cheer for her and she signs an official contract with the famous company. The next scenes show Aroha's family and friends celebrating. Rahul finally made her dream come true and she gets large gigs for her talent. Some time later, at the Indian Music Awards, Aroha's name gets nominated and she arrives there, looking for Rahul. He comes up behind her and drags her away, telling her he was at the bar having a drink. She asks him how he will recognize her in a crowd if he drinks so much. Rahul romantically replies by telling her he might forget his own face, but never hers. They get interrupted when a woman asks Arohi for an interview. Rahul tells her to go get the star and she goes for the big event. He watches her from the hotel bar and sees her win her very first award. Rahul raises his glass in victory, but someone spoils his mood by backstabbing her and Rahul, talking about how she will only be a maid to him. He glares at them and leaves the venue. Arohi tries catching up to him but he drives away without even noticing her. Later at his balcony, he sits on the steep end and drinks to his heart's content. Arohi arrives and tries to get him down the balcony, but he starts walking on the railings. She pulls him to her and lightly pins him down, asking why he is behaving this way. He tells her they need to break up, he does not trust himself with her, claiming that it doesn't take long for a man to turn into an animal. Rahul walks inside and Arohi follows him, asking him to stop drinking once and for all, but he refuses to do so. He says his addiction is like a wife who won't even divorce him. Hearing his rigidness, Arohi refuses to accept the fame without him by her side and leaves. He runs to her in the rain and they kiss on the sidewalk. He carries her home and lays her down and they kiss again. A few days later, they get a house together. Her mother is concerned for her life, because she can live in one house with him but not get married. She looks towards Rahul and tells her he is her life. The next part of the movie shows Arohi gaining fame while Rahul supports her. Still it seems like he cannot let go of his addiction. Vivek, Rahul's ex-manager visits him and they hug it out. He apologizes for the way he behaved that time and Rahul forgives him. Vivek asks Rahul to sing a soundtrack for a small movie, to which Rahul happily agrees. Rahul records the song but experiences problems in his pitch. His voice seems a little too flat. When the song producer laughs at him, Rahul snaps and asks for a break. Rahul and Vivek have a conversation, where Rahul blames his addiction for his voice deteriorating. He walks away from the studio and visits Arohi who is singing inside the studio room. When the song producers see him lurking around her, they call him a flop artist who is very annoying. Rahul, inside his own music room throws down his music records and stands near his piano. Arohi comes up behind him and hugs him. He pretends to be nonchalant in front of her, asking her if she wants dinner, and continues telling her about some calls he got in regards to her new songs. Arohi senses that something is wrong with him and tells him to look at her. She asks him if anything has changed and he kisses her forehead. When the food delivery has arrived, the writer asks for a photograph. Rahul is about to sign it but the writer says he wants Arohi's sign. The undeniable conflict between Rahul and Arohi can be felt in the air, as Rahul refuses to look at Arohi, while she feels guilty as well. Later that night over a few drinks, Vivek tells Rahul he only has 2 lakh rupees remaining in his bank account. At that moment, Rahul's bank card gets declined at the bar as well. A few days later, after Arohi returns home from a shooting, she sees Rahul fumbling through the cabinets desperately, looking for alcohol, chanting over and over again. Everything is over. Arohi holds him in her arms and runs to get water. But when she returns she sees him stealing her wallet so he can go out and drink. Seeing this, she hides behind the door and sobs. He rushes out for drinks without acknowledging her. Rahul sits at a bar and drinks alone, when his dad calls him. Worried for his son, Rahul assures him he's not alone. Rahul feels a surge of love for Arohi and goes to the music event she is attending. 
When there, he sees her up on stage, but she is not smiling, she is not happy without him. He tries walking to her but the cameraman and security attempt to stop him. Having had enough, Rahul creates a ruckus at the party. Arohi runs to him but in his anger, he pushes Arohi and she hits her head, bruising it. Seeing that he hurt her, Rahul rushes away with shame. He goes home and breaks the entire bar area of his house, screaming and crying. He finally falls asleep on top of the glass. The next morning, he wakes up to Arohi picking at a glass embedded into his foot. He snaps at her to stop, screaming at her to stop following him. In his desperation to be alone, he drags her out the door. But she sits outside and expresses her love for him and all he did to help her achieve her goals. She cries while clinging to the door. He opens the door and sits beside her, asking her to help him over and over. Arohi takes him on a vacation without anyone knowing. They go to a beautiful resort with scenic views and she helps him get back on his feet. The kind-hearted girl even bathes him and feeds him back in shape. When he experiences withdrawal symptoms, she holds him through it all. She does all he did for her. By the end of it, he finally sings for her. Rahul's uncle comes up to see them at the resort and lecture Arohi about how important it is that she go with him to record the new song. Rahul, who feels like he has shackled her feet asks her to go to work. She refuses to leave him, but he promises her he'll take care of himself. Days later, Arohi gets up on stage while Rahul watches from backstage. Rahul comes face to face with Aryan, the man who ruined his concert a while back. Aryan offers Rahul alcohol in order to get him back to his detrimental habits, but Rahul refuses, saying he quit. He gets approached by an interviewer who asks to interview Rahul's relationship with Arohi. The interviewer provokes Rahul by calling Arohi a prostitute. Rahul attacks the man who runs away, screaming profanities. Rahul is not able to handle the stress and grabs the bottle of alcohol, downing it down. Later at the police station, Rahul sits in jail at 12 a.m. for several offenses that he committed towards a journalist, a taxi driver, and even crashed a car. When the police officer refuses to let him out, Arohi gives all her jewelry to the police officer, telling him they had a lover's quarrel. She takes him away back home and lays him down. Outside the room, she has a conversation with Rahul's uncle, telling him that if Rahul can't come to her world, she'll go to his. She claims she will become an alcoholic with him somewhere far away and along the way. She'll find him and bring him back home. Rahul listens to this with pain-filled eyes. The next morning, Rahul caresses Arohi's face and wakes her up. He tells her with a gentle smile that he will stop his habits once and for all, for her. He tells her he will join the gym, follow a good diet and do everything the way she wants him to. While he is leaving, she hugs him tight and tells him she loves him a lot. He kisses her cheek. He calls out her name but like so many times. When she looks back, he says nothing and smiles. For some reason, something feels off. Rahul drives his car to a bridge and falls below into the ocean. He commits suicide. The next scene shows a muffled audio and scene of Arohi approaching the bridge from where Rahul jumped and pushing her parents away who are trying to console her. She goes to Rahul's studio and tears down his pictures, calling him a liar and sobbing. A few days later, Arohi packs all her things to leave the house she got with Rahul. Vivek approaches her and gives her a realty check, telling her Rahul died so that she could live. She cries with her back turned. She sings on stage while remembering all the support he offered her. The next scene shows Arohi sitting on the beach when two fans approach her asking for her autograph. It is a very heartfelt scene when she signs her name as Arohi Rahul Jaikar.